question says from Fort Worth, Texas, what should our relationship with the Jews be in this day and age? It's a very long and detailed discussion. Before we can shed any light on the issue, we have to know that the Jews are of different types. So obviously, if they're different types, both religiously and uh, ethnically, so on and so forth, then obviously, then dealing with them is going to vary as well. The general principle in Al-Islam of Al-Bara wal Wala, as was explained by Ibn Qayyim and many others, is to love and to hate for the sake of Allah, which is simply summed up as loving the Muslims and hating the non-Muslims. Being loyal to the Muslims and not being loyal to the non-Muslims. Supporting the Muslims and not supporting shirk and kufr, etc. Regardless of the different types of shirk and kufr. A Buddhist, Hindu, this, that, so on and so forth. It's going to vary from time to time, from person to person, place to place. If I have a neighbor who's a Jew, that's my neighbor, I have to look after him, his property. I can't lust off of his wife. Disrespect his property, allow someone to do something bad, it's my neighbor, even if he's a Jew. He's trying to do me physical harm, cause me harm, I have the right to defend myself. The same applies to overseas. <clears throat> Look at history, when the Jews and the Muslims, they lived. Muslims ran this country, the Jews were the minority, whatever the case is. The moment there's oppression, the moment there's plunder and rape and murder, the, the, the moment I'm swindling you out of your property, your rights, your land, your honor, killing you, blowing you up, it's a whole different, what? Story. With regards to taking the disbelievers as friends and intimate companions, can a person keep a close relationship with his previous friends and colleagues before he accepted a slam from school, etc.? No and yes. No, they are not your friends. And they are not allowed to be treated as your friends. The yes part, you keep in relations with them to call them to Islam and to invite them to your way of life. You keep in relations with them, you, they, you may owe them something. They did a lot of things for you back in the day. Took care of you, looked after you. You pay back the basic good treatment. But them being your buddies and your friends and they feel that this person is my close, close, close buddy, that's problematic. You can't, that can't be your close friends. You see them, you talk to them, hey, what's up, what's going on? All right, you bust it up. But someone being your close friend, entering your home, eating your food, you tell them secrets, they tell you secrets. You trust them, you rely upon them, things like this. That's only befitting of a pious Muslim. That's only befitting of a pious Muslim. So oftentimes it's a word game. We say friends or close friends, but it's nothing more than an associate. But it doesn't mean we see a non-Muslim from the days before you were Muslim, that you have to spit in their face and curse them and doom them to the fire of hell. You speak to them, how you doing? You never know when a person may become a Muslim. You never know. Question come from the UK on supporting football matches, soccer matches, things like this. Buying their jerseys, going to games, etc. As far as buying the jersey, then some of the people of knowledge have given fatawa that you are not allowed to wear these jerseys upon which are the names of kuffar and or upon which the names of sinful Muslims. So many ulama, some ulama, they've passed fatawa regarding this is impermissible. And it's a means of showing wala to them, loving them, imitating them, being soft towards them. Let alone what some of the jerseys may include of symbols and icons, regardless whether it's a symbol of religion or not, but it's a symbol and icon of other than Islam. I was going to visit a, a sheikh one day and uh, as I was crossing the street with a bunch of kids, they were laughing at me. And they were making fun of me from across the street. Some Saudi kids. So I, I gave them some lambs and I said, what are you guys laughing at? What's so funny? So they said, you look at your thobe. Where's the rest of your thobe? Why is your thobe so short? So I pointed to one of them on a soccer jersey. I said, you got a cross on your shirt. You have a crucifix. Are you a Christian? Hawdha billah, astaghfirullah. I said, you laughing at me for implementing the sunnah? You're wearing a symbol of Christians who hate Muslims and hate everything about you, your life, your culture, your background, and your lineage in your country. If it doesn't have a symbol of kufr, it doesn't have the name of a non-Muslim, then perhaps it's permissible to wear it. Whereas if you buy other clothes, designer clothes, you may be supporting homosexuals, as we said. Or you may be supporting people that bomb our brothers in Palestine. 